It's October 2023. So many people ask me about the market and about is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? So today we have a special, very knowledgeable guest. We have Chandler Robbins from House America Financial. Hi, Chandler. Hi, Ida. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me here. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. So why are the rates so high? So rates are high because of inflation. So we had record high inflation coming out of the pandemic. And so the Federal Reserve does not like inflation. So what they do is they raise interest rates to slow the economy down. And so over a, let's say, 16 month period, they've raised rates 12 times, which is a lot, a lot. Oh, yes. So what Definitely. that does is it directly affects, it indirectly affects mortgage rates. So when the Fed raises rates, mortgage rates also go up. Of course, of course. So where do you think rates are going in the future? So the good thing about inflation being the cause is that we can actually see when rates are going to improve. Uh -huh. So when inflation is, goes down, then we're going to assume that the rates are also going to go down. Um, the Federal Reserve has to lower rates uh, and the economy has to get used to the idea that inflation is going to go down. So inflation has slowed down quite a bit. Yes. Um, and I don't think the economy really has caught up to the idea that rates that inflation is low because people go to the store, they go places and they see that prices for things are still high. Right. But the data actually shows that rates are sorry, that inflation has slowed. And so rates will follow suit. It's not a matter of if, but when I would say we're going to see some big improvements here in the next three to six months. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. So is it a good time to buy a house? Absolutely. Especially if you don't, if you don't own a house currently, any time is a good time to buy a house because you are not building equity. You're not taking advantage of home appreciation. Um, so if you are renting at the moment, it is absolutely the best time to buy a house. Uh, also, you shouldn't be scared by high rates at the moment. You can get a very good deal on a house at the moment because as rates go up, the, there are less available buyers to True. buy a house. There's less competition. True. So you can actually get seller credits. You can get a lower purchase price. You can get terms that you want in today's market that in 12, 24 months from now, you won't be able to get. When rates go down, there will be more buyers and more competition. You don't want to be in the back of the line with 100 people. You'd rather be fighting against just a couple people. And that's what you can do right now. Oh, wonderful. So what can a buyer do to get a better rate? So buyers have a lot of options available to them when they work with the right professionals. Um, so that's working with a skilled realtor such as yourself and a loan officer like me that has access to a lot of programs. We have programs that can help you get a 2% lower rate, even in this market. So I'm able to get nice. people rates in the fives. Um, we have, obviously your credit score makes a really big difference, which I can assist with uh, buyers getting their credit score up. Uh, down payments are important. And also there's a lot of down payment assistance programs that are available in the market right now wonderful. that are growing in popularity that we have access to. So wow, there's many that's options. Wonderful. That's awesome news. So do you think is there going to be a real estate crash coming soon? No, absolutely not. I don't think that. And the reason is that supply is very low of homes. Yeah. What we would need to see in the market for a crash to occur is there would have to be an overabundance of supply of homes. There would have to be more homes for sale than there are buyers, True. which is not the situation it's that we're in. Now, not right? enough homes are being sold, not enough people, not enough homes are being built. So there will not be a big supply uh, increase to in the future the when rates come down. Also, there's going to be more demand. So in the next three to five years, there's nothing on the horizon that would indicate there's going to be a real estate market crash. That's a very good news too. Well, I really appreciate your time and yeah. I really thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. Thank you.